Well, Amy, thank you so much for joining me. This is really fun to, to meet you through video chat and to be able to talk about your Albion collection. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for having me. It's fun to get to chat with you too. Yeah. So just a couple questions I have for you. Like, tell us first, how long have you been a fabric designer? Um, I started designing fabric for Riley Blake in 2017 was when my first collection came out. So I can't, this is, I'll be in my seventh collection, which is wow. hard to believe. Yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. I've been quilting and designing quilt patterns much, much longer than I've been designing fabric. So I definitely came at it from that side of right. sewing pattern design. That's great. Well, I know when I was learning how to quilt years and years ago, I was getting on all the blogs and you're one of the blogs that I started to follow. So thanks for teaching oh, me how awesome. to quilt. <laughs> that makes me so happy to hear. That is the best compliment when people will come up and tell me that. Like, you're, I, I, you taught me how to quilt. I'm like, oh, that makes yeah. me so happy. You're passing on a, a beautiful gift. So thank That's you. Awesome. We need more recruits all the time. So yeah, I'm glad. So, I want to learn a little bit more about your Albion collection. So tell me how it all started. Where did you get your inspiration for it? Well, first of all, I'm just so honored that you featured Albion in this month's box. I'm thank you so much. I, I'm really thrilled. Um, so this collection is inspired. All of my collections that I've designed have some kind of sentimental tie from Part, different parts of my life. Um, some have been from my childhood, some have been from um, times of my adolescence, like living in England. And I never, I grew up in Utah and um, I and I live here now still. And um, I've never done a collection that was tied to my home state. So this collection was inspired, is inspired by, um, I grew up in the foothills of the Wasatch Mountains. We I learned to ski in the mountains in the winter and in the summer we love to camp and hike especially in recent years it's just something now I think now that my kids are bigger <laughs> and they're more self-reliant I really like camping again and so Albion is named after one of my favorite spots in the Utah mountains called Albion Basin because in the summer it is just stunning it's full of wildflowers and mountain creeks and meadows and it's just hikes and lakes and it's just a beautiful beautiful spot yeah. so that's the inspiration oh that's wonderful I love that I I love the mountains too so I'm gonna go visit that spot someday and it is it is beautiful it's the secrets kind of getting out though it's not <laughs> people people are showing up I guess I didn't help that cause yeah but, I know I think it's still, you let out it's still the, worth it let out the news to everybody yeah great place to go <laughs> so. it's, there's oh some of my probably my favorite memories summer memories are there that's exciting so every time you look at this fabric collection you're going to think of those great memories yeah. thank you for sharing yeah. that with us through your fabric I love it oh thank you yeah so can you describe your process of designing fabric from the concept to the final design Sure. And I think my um, process is probably different than a lot of other designers. As I mentioned, I, I've i been sewing for over 25 years designing. I worked in a fabric store, a quilt shop, and designed a lot of quilt patterns and writing my blog, sharing a lot of how to quilt. And I never really considered myself an artist in the traditional, like hold a paintbrush sense uh -huh. of being an artist. But um, I feel like my strengths were in using color and scale of prints and things like that so um I feel really lucky Riley Blake designs I've been doing a lot of sewing and creating uh patterns for them and they reached out and so we'd love to partner with you on a collection and so at the time I was so digitally inept I had to hire a graphic designer basically to uh -huh. help me get what was in my head on paper or not on paper, on like the screen, the digital right. pixelized. And because that's how the whole design process works now, it's um, it's all digital artwork and, you know, yeah. creating with the computer. So anyways, to make a long story short, um, they've just been great partners to work with and taking my um, ideas and color palettes and um I design a lot of the prints, but I, in recent years, and especially on this collection, I partnered with my sister, who is a real paintbrush artist. Her name's oh, Laura fun. Miller. 
And so we both love the, the mountains here in Utah. And so this was a really fun one to collaborate. So a lot of the, um, we've used some of her artwork before that's been watercolor. And this time she painted gouache, like it's, so it's a little chalkier paint. Uh -huh. And we took those paintings and digitized and, and used them for, so it's her paintings. It's also her, some of her line drawing. And, and she also you did the text print. So yeah. she helped come up with some of the artistic side. And then I do the, the color palettes and the other coordinating prints and designing the coordinating pull patterns and marketing and all that. So we're yeah. a good team. Yeah, that's great. How fun to work with your sister. I love that. It is. It's been really fun. It's been a fun overlap. Yep. Right. Now, so this one's just come, came out, came out in April, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, just and this so month. Are you working on any other fabric collections? I, my next collect, it's such an interesting, I mean, it's been such an interesting learning curve. My next collection is already underway for next spring. So it takes about a year. Wow. The process to, um, digitize everything and, you know, decide on palettes and colors and things like that. And then, um, submit it to the mill in Asia, which then they wow. send strike offs back. So it's a lot of back and forth getting colors just right and uh, like um, depth of, you know, whether you wanted a lighter hue or, you know, just lots of yeah. technical things that I had no idea were part of the process, but it's been really interesting. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, now when we look at this fabric, we can know it's a labor of love. It takes a whole <laughs> year to get it to us. So yeah, I love yeah. I'm amazed by people who I've decided I'm a one collection a year girl. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm amazed by people who are even more prolific, like it, because it is a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. Well, I know you, when we met first and started planning this collaboration, we sat down and, um, you mentioned that you'd be interested in, in designing one of our projects and you designed our two inch project and it's just beautiful. We love it. I'm so excited to stitch it up. It's all just been like on a <laughs> piece of paper yeah, or a computer digital. screen. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited so to now you're going to get the you'll get the pattern and you can make it instead of yes, just yeah. drawing it out. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. Do you have any Thank thoughts you. about that one? You know, I this block that for this uh, month's subscription is a block that I've loved. I just think it's so versatile. You can just do so many things with it. And so I'm it was fun to create, you know, take that shape and create one one look and I love that there's you can just do so many things with this block it's I feel like this is a block I'll be using over and over again right it's very versatile I know I love how you can uh, tumble it so many different ways yeah it's really fun and we in our mini quilt we're doing a mini quilt series mm -hmm. and May is the first one and we've decided this it looks like an ice cream cone so we kind of did a little yeah. ice cream cone um design for our mini quilt for me so really That's fun perfect. um I'll is, add one other thought on the yeah, block actually ahead. really quick my favorite I love foundation piecing blocks that are fiddly and tricky to just piece traditionally like so anything with that sharp angle when you can foundation piece it it just looks so much right. sharper and so this is yeah I'm really excited to play with this yeah song. we've got that's the beauty of perfectly pieced, isn't it? Exactly, it's, exactly. Everything is crisp and clean and we don't get stretching of the yeah. lines. So I love it. Yeah. I think that's why I've never used this block to make a quilt because I've kind of been intimidated by it. And now like, oh, the, this is this is the best way to do it. It's going to look perfect. Can't exactly. mess it up. It yeah. will. It will. It'll be great. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us, Amy. This has been really fun to talk to you about. Thanks for having me. And thanks again and your design process and and filling us in on on all the great thoughts that you have about this collection. So thank you well, so much. You're amazing. I feel honored to have been invited. Thanks so much. Okay. Well, thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.